During my last video, I showed you how to use Instant Alpha on Keynote on the Mac, and today I want to show you how to do it on an iPad. It's very similar, um, but the settings are in different places. So first remember that Instant Alpha allows us to pull a single color out of an image. So what it can do is allow us to take an image um, that has a background and remove it so that it looks something more like this. So we've got some great um, straight lines there. It looks really neat. So that's what we're going for. When you're doing that, you want to make sure that you choose an image that's going to um, be conducive to that. So for instance, take a look at this image. This image, um, when you look at it, you've got black along the edges of the butterfly, and then you've got some really dark shading down there on the leaf underneath the butterfly. It's going to be really hard to do because Instant Alpha isn't going to be able to distinguish between the two colors. Um, so for something like that, you'd want to get into a program like Photoshop. So you're looking for something a little more simple. So we're going to delete this butterfly guy. And I have another one that I'm cho I've chosen. And um, so here's what we're looking at. So we've got a light blue background. We've got a flower that we'd like to keep. Some other images there as well. So I'm going to start off. Got my image in. I'm going to hit my format button and choose instant alpha. So you can see it tells you to drag across colors to make transparent. So a couple things I want to watch here and that is the legs of the butterfly and the antenna because it's going to be really easy for those to get removed if I'm not watching. So I'm going to start off with the light blue, place my finger, drag it, and I might have to do it a few times to get the right amount done there to not lose those antennas. So I'm going to go up to the left here and choose undo. I'm going to do it again. There we go. That looks good. So I'm going to leave that other part in there. Kind of you see the messier blue piece there. Um, until later because I can zoom in to get that. So I'm going to work in smaller pieces here. You can see the more I drag, the larger the area of image that I remove. But you also want to remember to um, not let it run into the image that you want. So I'm zooming in using a two fingers to zoom in and zoom out so I can get larger in an area that I want to here get rid of that piece, get rid of this, being aware of that leg. Now let me speed this up a little bit for you. So now you can see the image. Pretty good, not perfect, um, but that's what Insta Alpha is for. You're not going to get a perfect kind of image like you would with Photoshop. I think that maybe I can get rid of a little bit more here, though. Okay, so pretty good. Gonna hit done. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this image. I have another um, slide down here and I'm just gonna paste it in so that you can see the um, difference. So you can see a little bit of the outlining and that's typical of what you're gonna get. You can go back in. It's an alpha and grab some more of those pieces. You can see that it looks much cleaner now when you do it that way. So sometimes it's helpful to put it against a different color background to be able to pull out those um, places that are tough. So now I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to delete this one and paste my new one in. 
make it a little smaller. And put in a text box. My tire line. So now I can continue working from there to make my slide. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you and you know better how to use Instant Alpha on the iPad and why you might use it. Thanks so much.